All right, we're recording. We're streaming. Let's check Twitch. Make sure we're fucking connected because we want to do this right the first time, not have to restart. And mm -hmm. hold up. And hopefully we get viewers because honestly, people need to fucking know how things are going. Also, I seem to have gotten a follow recently. Thank you, Inquisition. Ha ha ha. Thank you. Um. All right. I would like to preference this is going under my guide to Dauntless series. Um, my Slayer's Path. And Omni Cell Guide to Dauntless series. Well, maybe not. It'll probably go under my Behemoth Guide to Dauntless series. Yeah. It'll go under my Behemoth Guide to Dauntless series. Um, which will be a later thing. But I would like to preference because that's not starting until after my Slayer's Path and Omni Cell Guide to Dauntless. I would like to preference this. This is a rant and rave about Behemoths as they currently are because. I'm notice th noticing things about Behemoths that I'm not happy with because the devs of Dauntless, Phoenix Labs, has let these bugs last for so long and get so prominent that I am having so many fucking issues. Like, here, let me give you an example. Hold up, let me click back on Dauntless here. Let me, let me turn off my my keyboard. Turn off my mouse and keyboard, switch back to controller. Alright. Let me preference you here, right? Because I'm literal fucking tick. Also, there's people mowing outside. I am sorry if you can hear that. Um. Also, turn up audio. There. Alright, you can hear. Um, all right, so this does not affect end gamers. This affects newer players because this is what's pissing me off in my series on the, on the <laughs> roadmap and stuff. Service. All right. Is that, as you can see, I have everything. Like I don't have to focus parts or anything on this account, right? I don't, I don't need to, I have everything, I have all the weapons crafted, I have all the armor enough. crafted, I have all of them power surged, except for Drask next, uh, on Thursday, Umbral and Dire Drask is coming out, or Di not Di Umbral and Dire Drask, uh, Dire and Heroic Drask are coming back to the game next Thursday, there will probably be a quest line, well there will be a quest line, there will be an event, and there will be probably his die coming back. We don't have patch notes. We'll get on that when they actually drop those. Actually, give me a second. We're going to check the website. Give me a sec. We're going to get into the rant. I'm, I am furious at Phoenix Labs right now. Let me get my head in order. Give me a second. Yeah, there's, um... There's nothing out yet for, uh, this. Alright. Sound of Thunder Part 2, July 20th. That came out two days ago. So they're luring the new drafts, but they're not actually posting oh, anything on it. Wow. That'll probably come tomorrow. But as you can tell, on this part, I have everything. But here's the thing, right? I am level 11. That means, and power surged, and axe is reforged at least 10 times. Don't mind my 48. We are also finishing the axe in this stream. But anyways. So technically, I should be level 3, but, but nobody's gonna fucking do that, right? Right? Like, how they want you to play the game is to go up to at least, or at maximum, to the island that you have unlocked. But I don't know what the fuck they did recently, but the behemoths are extremely fucking overpowered. Like, 
I just died two levels ago at level 9 when it unlocked Rift's Darker Island. I died so much to a Rift Darker. You don't know how many times I fought Rift Darker. I don't know how many times I fought Rift Darker. There's no reason I should be dying to Rift Darker anymore. And I know this is a petty little fucking thing. Um, but no, uh, I'm not gonna do trial. Let's, let's, let's do this. Let's go into a hunt. We're gonna go into a hunt. Like, it has gotten so bad that I have found a, I've always, I love this game, right? I have always loved this game since I started playing it back in beta. I loved how it was set up. I loved the leveling system. I love the, uh, the... That's really annoying. That is, that is really annoying. Um... Hi. I love the... What is it called? The integrity of the game. I love the way it worked, right? Like, this was back when you could actually break parts on Nezaga, right? Like, pretty effectively. I don't remember when Nezaga's hitbox got fixed, got broke as fuck. But right now, the most I can break in a single match of Nezaga fight is on the, uh, on my starter account. Is head maybe, maybe a leg or two. Tell. But you can't break tail. You cannot fucking break tail anymore. You have to extremely get lucky to break tail. Like, we're gonna fight this fucking Kosha here. We're gonna stagger him because that interrupt doesn't happen with the uh, axe. And of course, I'm using Radiant Axe, so this is gonna go very fast. And I'm gonna get hit by that because the lantern is on a cooldown for some reason. I, I was holding that for a little two seconds before it actually did the thing, by the way. So we're gonna get the get the air up there. See, as you can see, I'm not having a fucking issue on a level 14. This goes up to level 16, I believe. Ow. No, this goes up to 17. over a stick. Heal up here. Alright. But no, see, that, that behemoth's not that bad. But I go fight a regular coach guy and it's gonna fucking two-shot me. Right? Like, it's not about the fact that... It's not like I'm having trouble with the game. It's not like the game is that actually difficult. And of course, now that I'm streaming and recording... It's not going to fucking... The behemoths are going to do not nearly as much damage as they were before. Because, you know, why the fuck would the game actually cooperate with what you're trying to show people? 400 damage. Now, I understand it's level 17, but I am power surge. I am leveled. I have all of my resistances maxed the fuck out. 400 damage is a little much. Not going to lie. I'm getting reach. Gonna, gonna hop. Gonna hop. Through that. Get level four. Gonna insta die if he flies. So. Now, again, this this, this isn't going to go with my behemoth, uh, my actual behemoth series that explains their movesets or anything. As you can tell, I'm not explaining their movesets or anything. But, um... No, this is... Like, you can see I'm doing pretty well. Um, after I reforge my axe for the 49th time, I'm going to... 
going. And maybe it's just because I'm tired of hunting solo. Like, the fact that they made it to where... And if you're wondering my biggest issue with the game right now and Behemoths... Is the fact they made it to where... Uh, Behemoth's power is extremely, extremely heightened when you're fighting with randoms, or even with friends in general. Like, if you have somebody else in the fight with you ranking up the monster, it used to not increase the damage at all. All it did was make it to where the Behemoth had more health. But now, it gives it more health, it gives it more damage, and it might also give it more speed. Can I hit you, please? God damn it. I hate it when he moves away from you. Like, what is this? You're gonna suck me along, but then you're never gonna let me near you. Now that one was my bad. But anyways, no. As you can see, I'm alone. I'm good. But after this, after this one dies, we're gonna load public, right? We're gonna we're gonna load public, and this is where the problem really fucking lies that they did something horribly wrong with the behemoths. Cause I'm gonna load public, right? And it could be, you know, you could be thinking, oh, you're just using discipline. Don't get level four and you won't take so much damage. And it's not even that. I could have no discipline stacks whatsoever and the behemoth will still do 900 damage a hit for no fucking reason. Like, it'll just happen. Like, they have refused. Phoenix Labs needs to listen. They have refused to do anything about behemoth hitboxes or anything. And you have to get lucky with your randoms. Like, these guys? These guys are pretty, pretty, might be decent. Now, they're not fighting the Stormclaw over here at all, but I've noticed that a lot. High Danger shows up and people are like, yeah, I don't want to fight that. I get it. And he's going to zap at me and probably hit me and there's going to be some shit. Oh, no. No, he's going to do this because they activated his fight and then ran away. Okay. That ball. He only shot one ball. Look at that. Also, this game does horrible job, and this is why I'm doing a beginner's guide series, is because this game does just a horrible, god-awful job of, t of helping people learn how to play the game. Like, they don't have a tutorial system at all in any good manner. Right? I love knowing how to use Axe. I'm really tired of using Max, though. Like, I can't wait to finish these two reforges. Um. But no, I found an absolute new hatred to. God, that's another thing! Teleporting fucking behemoths! Are you serious? Like, he had no reason to teleport there, and now my dog's scared of me because I'm yelling again. No, he had no fucking reason to teleport there. And I swung too early. And my tonics wore off. And he goes the other fucking way for some reason. And teleports. <laughs> because why not? Like, this is why I play solo. It's the behemoths teleport when you're with randoms for no reason. And that's a that's not even a new glitch. That's that's an old glitch that returned. They had that fixed. 
And it just showed the fuck back up. Like, they were like, oh, you know a bug that we could use again? You know, people loved it because it gave some variety. Some variety to the game. We're gonna bring back in this guy's glitch because he's supposed to be in the ground and he's not. I don't know. I used to love this game back in beta. I love this game... Still... Or at least I hope I do. But the more I play my beginner's account, and the reason why I'm never gonna go back to it after I finish, or at least not until they change the game again, which it is inevitable, they will fucking change the beginning of the game again, because every content they release is for new gamers instead of old gamers. Like, they don't care about their end game community. They really fucking don't. Like, the last time we got content was Trials, and that was in 2019. And then, yeah, sure, we got Escalation 10th, or 50 through 90 now, heart, uh, Heroic Escalation. But it's easy. Like, the only reason why people don't want to do it is because it's not worth it. You spend... It's supposed to be harder than Trials. It's supposed to be seven behemoths, seven trial behemoths in one escalation, if not harder. Um, and as Torg and Dragon stands right now, it's just not that. Sure, Urska will be, but you shouldn't have to do four escalations to get to the actual escalation that it's supposed to be. Right? Uh... And then, you know, there's people that, that don't want them to change it, that they're like, they don't realize how much they are given as, as, I want to say casual players, but some people, you get to a point in a game where you do all the casual stuff for so long that you want some end game content. Like, you want some content that sh you actually have to prove your skill on and prove your integrity of the game on. And Heroic Escalation is just not that yet. I need to fix this build, honestly. Well, actually, no. The build isn't that bad. What's bad is the fucking axe. Because I'm having the same build, well, slightly different build, on, uh, Strikers, and it is perfect. Like, it just, this build doesn't work on Axe, even though it does high-ass DPS. Is that a level up? That's level up. Um... But no, like, I don't want to play solo, but the game forces you to play solo because the randoms are just not there. Also, another thing. This is kind of trash. Like, I'm using Radiant Axe. I shouldn't be having to fight Radiant Behemoths. And the next Umbral Island unlocks at level 14. Like, I understand it's not going to take me long to get there, but if I could do this island instead of this island, you know... I shouldn't have to fight Umbral Behemoths, or Radiant Behemoths, with my Radiant Axe. That's all I'm saying. I mean, it's not that big of an issue, but... I don't know. That's just me nitpicking for no reason. Let's be honest. What up, nice kill? It hasn't been that long. It's been about... Nine, ten days, maybe. I got a 30 
Sorry, I don't choose them. But I do feel the pain. That's why I have YouTube Premium. I don't get ads on YouTube anymore. I get it, this isn't YouTube, but like, I am recording YouTube video. This, this stream will be a YouTube video. So. In one of my guide Dauntless series. But anyways, yeah, after we do this reforge, we're switching to the, uh, <clears throat> to my beginner account, to level up, unlock some player path, and continue that series. <laughs> that, that's understandable, too. Stamina game. Shouldn't be out of stamina. But yeah, I agree. Ads ads are bad, but you know. Ad revenue is good. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Can you? Okay. That's another thing is Ermain is just like stupid to interrupt. <laughs> I found a new hatred for Embermane interrupts because they're just so much. Like, see there, he stopped before, but because my my hit launched me forward, I got it. Like, if my hit didn't do that, I wouldn't have got it. They are way too broken, and the devs let them be broken, and it's trash. Like, what is that? Uh, this- If anyone's wondering, this stream is... We're talking about broken behemoth stuff that the devs have neglected for way too long and it's starting to actually get to me. Like, this just feels... Why do fight solos feel like they take longer than they actually do? That's what I want to know. Like, why do fight solo, even though the behemoth's doing less damage to you, because legit, that, that's, some, that's the point we just made, uh, feel like they take longer than they actually do? That is, that is shit. And that just put me in discipline four, which is gonna get me killed. I miss when lanterns were instant. Like you, you held the button down for a split second, and it put down your lantern. And I'm dead because you know, can't actually hit the behemoth. Tonics, take the tonics. Take your tonics. Thank you. Stop backing away from me. Like, I can't play with randoms because the behemoths like to teleport around the fucking map. Which is another point I just made. And I just... I don't enjoy playing solo. And I get it. I have some people online. But 
legit, they want to stay in escalation, and I, I find leveling here is slightly faster, especially when you have Slayer's Club, and I just fucking died again. I honestly do not like dying in video games. I don't, honestly, especially when it's the fucking cheap death. Okay, my lantern. <laughs> this fucking delay on the lantern is actually getting to me. Like, that's just me being nitpicky as bullshit, but... If... I should, ha I should have to hold it for less than... It should be on a point five at maximum. A point five. Stop kicking! At maximum point five seconds. I hate the dinosaurs. I, again, again, and I'm gonna preference this a lot. I love Dauntless. I do. But again, and actually, we're not gonna wait to revert. We're gonna switch right now so I actually get show people. So give me a second. We're switching accounts. We're switching accounts to this actual series account so I can show you what the fuck I actually mean. Give it a second. I need to figure out how to switch my email over. Like, switch the name of it, or the actual address. Like, mine's too long. My Yahoo's way too long. Um... I want to just change it, but I don't think I can, because I think Yahoo's stupid, and won't let you. Alright. But anyways, here we go. Let's talk Behemoth on this account. I would love to finish my Axe Reforged, my last two Axe Reforged right now, but legit, I'm too ticked to actually have the patience to level to get the XP because it feels like it's taking five years to actually get any XP for some reason. Like, it feels like I've been at level 14, or I think I'm on level fucking 12 right now. I was on level 11 forever. There's no reason for that. And it could be that literally earlier I had a friend that didn't know I was level 1 and went and didn't ask and took me in 1050 so I leveled really quickly and died very few times actually but anyways here we go on this account we started out the series is on YouTube I recommend watching it this video and this video stream is going to be posted on YouTube in that series so um yeah that's gonna happen. And I'm surprised they haven't done the fucking background check. Alright. It's gonna tell me to... No? Okay. So we're gonna start... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna put sharpened in. Um. We're gonna start by going and finishing crafting armor and stuff. Keeping busy, are we? And then as things not stuff. It, as things come up, that's when we'll explain it. Can I craft Pangar Lantern? That would help so much. 
Aether is on the wind. <sighs> Look at that! I have no friends on this account. Um... We need to track Iceborne because it what stops. Is this? this is, I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but they, um, when you exit the game, it stops tracking. There's a prize. I don't like that. That needs to stop happening. I've been watching you. All right, so I have everything crafted. Cool. Except for Valmir's grave and that. Which are the next weapons. Okay. And then, as for you... How not you. Weapons treating you. Hey, it's you. You. We have all you crafted. Do I have Scar? And I have all you crafted. Craft you. Craft you. We're just gonna go in order. All right. Protect yourself. So. We're gonna start. Angar. Actually. Hold. Uh, 30. Um, because look, how they expect you to play the game, right? See, whenever you click in, it takes you to the level it wants you to play. Or not that it wants you to play, that you are well equipped for. And honestly, 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 they need to change the recommended level, and they need to change when islands unlock. Because here's the thing. This is recommended 10, right? But I'm going to move up. My intuition, seeing recommended and seeing my level being 12, I'm going to go to the level 12 island. Right? Now, I'm not going to right this minute... But that's my intuition. Um. They have trouble. I won't break his face. Twice. When he breaks 12 legs to craft his... That is bullshit. 12 legs and 4 tails. 4 tails are easy, but 12 legs? Okay, is this going to find a hunt? Jeez, why is it taking so long? Um... But no, it's, it's the fact that... The game has recommendations, and when a game has recommendations and you want to follow them, there's no reason that that should be so high above your actual level that you feel like you're below the actual recommended. Right? That's all I'm saying, is that they need to do something in this game. Because back when I started playing this game, you didn't... A It's finally by the way. Um This is a different account. I'm a I've been playing this game since since 2019. But anyways, can you stop being a glitchy glitchy fuck for 5 seconds? Anyways, uh, what was I saying? That I need. I 
need to put a sick on this build so that I can get that wound damage out of the way. Um, what was I saying? No. I don't remember. Um, what was I saying though? I honestly don't remember. No. Ah, uh, it's Finley. Oh, okay, I read your message wrong. All right. Hello and welcome to stream. Um, yeah, no, uh, I honestly forget what I was saying. All right, what's the next thing I'm crafting? I need to go break cross beat, but first things first, I think. Is my crate still active? It is not for long, though. I need to put on fire. Acidic. And I guess... France health after breaking of the Hemus part. Um... I forget what I was saying. Tango's Island will still give XP. Cool. Dog, what was I saying? That'd be too much. Um... Alright, let's explain Ember Main Fight there. Since I don't remember what I was saying, let's start something new. That Ember Main Fight there where he kept jumping around me, that's exactly what I'm talking about with that's that that fight is supposed to teach you how to interrupt. How in the absolute fat fuck? Is that fight supposed to teach you how to interrupt when you can't even attack it? Like, new gamer's perspective, right? You come into the game, you join Embermain's hunt, and you're like, all right, let's hit the thing, and then it just jumps around you like a rabbit on crack. All right, how do you do that? You don't. That's, that's the thing. You don't do that. Um... And another thing, I want to talk about hitboxes here in a minute. Not a lot of the behemoths have actual broken hitboxes. But, give me a second, and I can explain hitboxes after we craft these things. Uh, also, another thing. While I'm getting sidetracked. I can't roll. Go around you. I'll try and break a leg, by the way. If you're wondering what I'm doing. Uh, my controller disconnected. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's 
Uh, if you're wondering why my controller disconnects, it is because I'm playing on a Stadia controller through a software that is the only software on the market that can make a Stadia controller run through games that I have found, at least. And it barely works. Like, it's constantly having disconnects. I'm trying to... That's actually good. I'm... I'm liking it. Get that sound out of my ears. I uh, only got one there, I think. Deep Rough Stone Hide. Yeah. Is it that one or was it this one? We're gonna check here first. And we have to go break beak and find stones. Yeah, there's stones. Uh, do you know? Uh, yes. Dauntless is 100% cross-platform. No matter what you do, you can always play with Switch, PC, Xbox. Aw, oh, there's no thing here. Shame. Um, is there another island that spawns it? Probably not that I have unlocked. Cool. Okay, can you... Storm boots. Or arms, okay. They've added a lot over the years. And most of it's for beginning players. And this is this is what this series is about is this series was originally supposed to help new players get better at the game faster but the more i play it the more i realize that my end game skill from before the reforge is still valid but it's not valid in getting to that point like it's only valid when i get there um there's gliders ever since they got rid of trolls And that's the simplest way I could say that. They got rid of patrols and pursuits a long time ago. Don't get yourself killed. Woo! Behemoth Mastery Core. Cool. Back in mid 2020, they uh, re they reworked the entire game, and that's what we're playing through here. I thought I had a wound bounty. We're gonna keep wound on because I want to make sure if I do get a wound bounty, like this, I can do it, but whatever. We'll play a slave with strikers. Can I get my thing yet? Yay! Special! I can get my mod! I can finally get my mod.
Ooh, and I have enough to unlock Bastion. We're gonna wait. Uh, we do need, however, resistances against Umbral and Radiant. We're going to save the rest of our Escalation Merits. No, we want to use our clap. The clap is the best mod in the game. I don't have Omni cells. Um, we're going back to Pangar's Island to see if we can get another Frost Garden spawn. Because we need those points. Where are those parts? Yeah, 2019 was good. Beta was good in this game. Uh, I loved Beta up until the point they were about to add a competitive type thing, also known as Trials. I thought that Trials, I loved the game back then. I absolutely loved the game to no end. I fell in love the moment I started playing. And then I heard they were adding Trials and heard all about it. And I was like, this is not what this game needs. It's going to be there's gonna it's just gonna be a problem and it still is a problem it's just not as much of a problem as i thought it was going to be um i mean right now there's a lot of controversy with trials and it's a bigger problem that needs to be but anyways I guess we can try to kill this guy. We need his legs anyways. Okay. I'm sorry. I have that on video that I dodged. Knocked me down. What 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 actually knocked me down though? third hit let me hit the third hit thank you i'm dead i don't know why i keep trying to kill this thing in our two minutes i know i fucking can't with this lack of power i don't understand why they let you claim these so hard Like, these are actual side quests that they let you, uh, claim extremely early from Oz, and I don't know why I claim them, because you can't do them. You just, you can't. You're in no predicament to do them. They shouldn't give people the courage to actually try. Like, it just gets frustrating. Honestly. It's way too frustrating. I also need to turn on the light. Anger. Let's 
Is that a scorn? Did I just hear a scorn? I heard something crawl out of the ground. I'm gonna have to stop using these strikers. It's starting to annoy me. The sound effect. I need to turn on the light. It's bugging me. I don't like sitting in the dark. Give me a second. Don't, you are laying on me. <laughs> Can't be upset when I get up if you're going to lay on me. I'm back. My head hurts. I got very angry earlier. And kind of, you know. Made my head hurt. God damn it. Can I just get the thing I need? Why the fuck is my mouse in the middle of the screen? Where's my mouse? Move you off screen. Also, I turned the mouse off. Why is it turned back on? Reload the map. It's gonna take 10 years to find a private hunt for no reason. I get they have to free up a server for private hunts, and if all the servers are full, it takes a minute. But it is late in my time zone. There shouldn't be that many people on. Like, usually nobody in my time zone plays at night. What's happening? Why is it not actually loading? There it goes. Oh no, I just... The more I play this beginning guide, or this guide to Dauntless series, with this new account being having nothing... And working my way up. The more I appreciate the time I started and how much better it was to actually build yourself and build your character. Um But at the same time, it also brings a lot of A lot of unappreciation. Like, it feels like the devs thought their game was going nowhere or lost track of where their game was. So they changed it into this. And this is not a good change compared to what it was. And honestly, I, I ended up rage quitting my video earlier if you go on YouTube and watch it. Which I do need to fix the exclamation point YT link. Or command. Uh, still. But YouTube's a Rusula if you want to look it up. It's the same thing. And if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hello. But anyways. That miss. Uh, game? I got the stack. Or I got the interrupt. Oh yeah, I don't have gold anymore. I'm 
remember it's gonna catch him on fire. I think that was the last leg I need, but let's break one more just in case. I thought I, I should have been close enough to get that interrupt, obviously. Uh, actually, I don't know how I wasn't. Can you say, never mind. Break it is. Can, can I collect? Can I, can I collect? Still need a lot of these. I should just need scrape face now. Yay! I hate these strikers. <laughs> I hate these weapons. Like, um, Chirag weapons are amazing. They do good, decent damage as long as you're constantly using stamina. But the sound effect, if you get that one moment where you're in between the notion of the ability activating and it doing its final charge up when it's doing that noise, it's doing a constant noise and the lights flashing off your weapon, which the, the flames aren't, the flame lights, the etheric energy wafting off is not that big of an issue, but the sound effect just is stupid. Like, it's stupid that it sticks around playing, you know, hey, use stamina or deal with it. Right? It's just, it's annoying. And my head itches. Because I don't want to wear a headset anymore, but I fucking wanted to rant about how much I hate Drask. And yet tomorrow, or on Thursday, they're adding another Drask. They're bringing back Dire and Hero Drask, as I've said earlier. And yet, and on yesterday's video, and today's video, and I think video a couple days ago, and all that. I've said on a few videos that they're bringing out. I've reminded you several times that they're bringing out. <laughs> and the more I play, and the more I fight Drask, the more I get upset with Drask. And it's like, I don't want to fight Drask. Like, I don't want the new variant to come out. That's just, I, I kind of don't want it. Not gonna lie. I kind of don't want it. Like, this is recommended 12, right? My weapon's 12. This is not recommended 12. This is recommended fucking 13. At least. Let's be honest. Let's be completely... Complete and utterly honest. This hunt will be recommended 12 to 13. I will... Or 13 to 14. Because I will probably die to Scrave. Because I will be underpowered. Because the game said, it's recommended 12, you're level 12, you're good to go, but I die. Because the game says, you're going to take all this damage instead. I may be too tired, I might have to... How long have we been live for? Almost an hour. I should have just recorded an hour-long video doing my short little rant. I thought my rant was going to last longer, but I kind of got all my anger out on my... And if you want the real reason why my fucking head hurts, is because I can't afford to buy a new controller, and I already broke my PS4 controller. Um, I can't afford to constantly buy new shit. So I fucking punch myself in the head. To get my frustration out. And it works. Because usually. I forget why I'm angry. <laughs> because you know concussions and shit. Don't worry. I'm still very intelligent. I could use it to lose a few brain cells. That sounded worse than it was. But deal with it. You know. Just fucking deal with it. Hey Scrab. I need to break two of your face. Or more. Why are you turn- where are you going? Why 
Why am I dealing no stagger damage to your legs? Why are you not staggering? What is happening in this fight? Ah, uh, fuck you. I should have been able to face shift through that. Can't dodge out of it. Cool. 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 I'm out of stamina. Stamina sucks when you're a beginning player. Like, I could do what all the other fucking end gamers do, like what Odo does and what all them do, which is horrible ass videos telling you about the new mechanics, about the stuff, but not actually going through and being like, look, this is how this works, but you have to put in so much fucking effort to, to do it. Like, that's the episode, that's what this series is, is that... It's a playthrough series to go through the hardships and struggles of new gamers. And new gamers are better than me. I'm just going to put that out there. New gamers are better at the game than this this endgame. And I'm saying that now. Like, you can, you can put me out. Why did that not stagger you or interrupt you? I'm sorry. But I call bullshit. Um, like, you can put me on my endgame account, and I can make a, a dope-ass build, right? But you put me here in the, in the, in the, in the boots of a new gamer, and it's just, like, you can't do shit. Like, you're used to all these things that you can do, that when you get all those things taken away from you, you can't do anything, Right? And that's the predicament I'm in with this with this account is the fact that I'm so used to having all this power and the tonics and the ability to actually do things. But now I can't. I need your face. What hit me? Um, uh, sorry, I'm tired right now. Like, my ranting, my fucking anger earlier got me tired. Now I'm stuck in a wall. With the Valamir looking at me, he's gonna spawn orbs. This is gonna go fucking horrible. I'm sorry, but like you'll have you'll have a lot of end gamers who will cuss the fuck out of out of Valamir, but honestly, Valamir is one of the more doable fights. Other than the fact that he likes to land on you. Can you stop? Like, I'm trying to tell a story here that you're okay, and now you're gonna start being a bitch. Like, I can't heal because he spawned all those orbs over the healing pool. That needs to not reach past the whole arena. That's all I'm gonna say on that. That needs to not reach the whole fucking arena. I'm dodging, and I'm trying to get away from that. And it hit me, because... Bullshit. What are you talking about, Riker? Starting a new character is not new game plus for us veterans. Uh... If you think this is New Game Plus, you have never played a New Game Plus in your life. I'm just gonna tell you that straight up. Nothing bad on you or anything, but... If somebody, whether it be you, let it be someone else, thinks that this is New Game Plus, they'd be highly mistaken. New Game Plus is... Usually... 
Not always the case, because you can still, on most games, select normal difficulty again. And just do the same thing again with the higher gear. But what New Game Plus is, is you keep your gear. Starting your account over and losing all your shit is not New Game Plus. Because you're losing all your shit. No, no, it's just new game. It's, it's new game in Dauntless 2.0. That's all it is. It's not new game plus. It's new game in Dauntless 2.0. And I'm dead. That's what Reforge is. It's not... Like, Reforge is not Dauntless anymore. Reforge is Dauntless 2.0. And this is, honestly, if I had started the game here, instead of back in beta when I started it, I would not be in the game. I would have quit the game within the first, probably, three days of playing it. Riker, you can think what you want, but no matter what, it's not New Game Plus. A New Game Plus, you keep your shit. That's just the gist of it. In New Game Plus, you keep your shit. If you lose your shit, it's no longer New Game Plus, it's just New Game. I don't need to fight you. I don't want to fight you. You have broken ass hitboxes. I need another frost beak. The new game plus up. Yeah. Either way, it, Dauntless is not a fun game. Uh, I, if you ask me back in beta, if I would recommend Dauntless, I would have recommended it in Harvey. But this, I would not recommend this for anyone. Like, they need to change it. And I'm sorry, I know, shocker, I love Dauntless and I'm saying don't play it. But hear me out. If you have, if you start this game and you do not have friends to play it with, like legit, this new account, I have no one to play with. And Riker, if you say, well, you could play with the guildies, no, I cannot, because you guys are end gate, you guys have stuff, and the whole point of starting a new game is to be with people who are in the same zone as you. So with you guys having everything, that defeats the entire purpose of learning how to play the game from, from a beginner's perspective. Dark, you meet this one. I mean, I'd say Dark Souls still is on another level, but yeah, I'd say... I'd say, uh, that Slayer's Path might be a slight, slight Dark Souls integration. If you're a new gamer. That's stupid. I can finally craft my Omni Cell! <laughs> no, it wasn't. 
I can tell you that right now, Riker. No, it wasn't. Maybe Alpha. Maybe Alpha, but because I have seen pictures in, and stuff on Alpha as of recently, because I went and did some, some looking up of stuff and things. But Beta onward up until, on, up until here was not. Night scale, I am not in the fucking mood right now. I do not know if you can tell. I sense and I'm sorry if this seems like I'm getting on to you. But if you suggest games, I'm going well to have done, to put you Slayer. in timeout. It's just not going to work out. I'm not in the fucking mood. I'm listening. Like, you always pull this shit. You always pull this shit. Every stream. Every stream, you always pull the, Hey, Aru. What about this? Every stream. It gets old. Don't ignore me, Slayer. That's it. It's not what I can do for you. Nice, Kel. It's this not that I'm getting on you. It's that I understand you like to be a Watch troll. Six. And that's okay. I just don't deal with trolls well. And you know that. Like, it gets to a point where the trolling just gets annoying. And that's just the... That's just the serious note of it that... That needs to get out of the clouds. That's how you do it. Till we speak again. You don't have to shut it. You don't. You can talk. You can. I'm not trying to be getting to onto you, and it could just be the tired and annoyance of this game talking. Good, but honestly, that's just that's just it. I'll check out. Yeah, have a good one at, at work, Riker. I'm checking out the game. It's fine, nice girl. It's fine. Alright, what's... What's happening on this end? But no, just of the story is with this whole stream video that I was trying to pull that I could have just recorded as a video and posted as a video and didn't even have to stream for. Which probably shouldn't even stream for. Uh, is the fact that, and I don't remember if I explained Omnicells. Someone in the comments of one of these videos, tell me if I explained Omnicells yet. In my information, I'll be more awake when I explain it, obviously, but... Yeah, tell me whether I have or haven't. Um... If somebody... Can, who watched my videos can tell me if I've actually explained them. Uh... I don't remember right now. But anyways... What am I doing? We're gonna go craft Rift Stalker. Ooh, you're nice. Oh, you're dropping a lot of. Them. Um. If anyone's wondering, this was back at. Christmas time they had or 
back at Halloween time, sorry. What's that, Christmas or Halloween? They have bows on them. Yeah, that's Christmas. Back at Christmas time, they had these cauldrons, these soup cauldrons, um, that you get tonics out of. And then they had these presents as well. So, anyways, we're gonna go craft these weapons and then end the video stream. Um, good day, Slayer. I hate you. I just probably unlock that. We do need frost. All right. We're going to try for Rift Stalker first because Rift Stalker is the best weapon in the game. And we'll explain that after. Uh, yeah, are the guns any different? I remember. Uh, when they first added guns, they thought they did too much DPS, so they nerfed them a lot since then, buffed them a little bit, nerfed again, buffed a little bit, blah, blah, it was on and off for a while. Uh, but you said you started in 2019 as well, so you might not remember. You might have been past that part. I used to main guns back then when I was learning how to dodge. Long story short, long story short is here in like four weeks. They're about to rework the guns. So whether they are pretty decent now, but whether or not you use them, they're about to rework them. Which is why if you go and watch my YouTube series, I would. When I was explaining the weapons, I did not explain guns, and I explained that I'm not going to explain guns unless someone really wants it because they're about to rework them, and if I explain them, I have to re-explain them later. Alright. Anyways. Where is... A cat. Probably shouldn't fighting cat first, but whatever. Wait, oh, hello. This is another problem I have, is that they made every behemoth extremely mobile in the Reforge update. Like, they back up a lot more, they, like this. Now, Riftstalker's gonna go into portal, or he's just gonna run and go heal. And that's the biggest problem I have with it, is they back up a lot in this update. And because new players aren't doing enough damage, as you can see, I'm not doing enough damage whatsoever. I can't keep him still. Like this is this is actual hell for new players. Like I can't keep him still. I can't get him staggered properly. Gonna do this. No. Okay. For some reason, it spawned a portal behind me. Now it's this. Like, this just. This isn't fun. New game in. Like, this whole Reforge thing, this whole Slayer Path leveling and everything, isn't fun. Whether you're leveled for the thing or not, it's not 
because the game is supposed to unlock it when you're quote unquote technically supposed to be able to do it. And the game advises you to go and overachieve for the more XP. But the thing is, it's not fucking worth it. Okay, that's split by a fucking hair. Okay. Okay. And now he's gonna back the fuck up again. Now he's mixing up his moveset. Now, he shouldn't have done that attack, honestly. Okay. Now he's gonna take me back into Murder Palace because I don't have him near staggered. I haven't broken apart yet, by the way. Like, that's- I want you to notice this. I have not broken apart yet, and I'm probably nowhere near breaking any parts. And then he pulls this shit. Like... And the thing is that this, um... This- this thing is so finicky. That I'm surprised I actually got that. I broke head at some point. I don't know when. And he turned. So I couldn't break arm. I don't know where he went. Got it. Even though I died. Why are you rolling that direction when I'm facing the other direction? And now he just goes and does his own thing again. Like, they made these arenas way too big for the, for the healing mechanics. Because the behemoths have always done that. They've always healed when you got too far away, but back before Reforged, they used to be confined to their area, right? But now, with this whole thing, it's not... It's it's too big of an area that they can roam, that they always go to fucking heal, because they're always backing up and going too far away from their area. Okay. Well, at least I broke part. I won't break tail, though because I can't stagger him and knock him down to actually hit it. A little dead again. Anyways, I'm gonna kill this Rift Stalker in the video and end stream and post the video on YouTube. Um, because I'm just, this isn't fun. Like, this, this isn't fun. Uh, this series was for Omni Cells and stuff or omni cells and the slayer path so what we're gonna end up doing from this point on is weird because i can't i don't i am literally going insane doing this uh playing on this account and playing playing without with with the knowledge i have of this game playing without the capability to actually utilize it is making me go insane it's not fun, honestly. And I don't know, like, the only thing keeping me into it is my knowledge. Like, I don't know how new gamers come into this game, and I give them huge-ass props. This isn't me talking down to new players. This is me giving them props. I don't know how they come into this game and they actually are able to sit here and level and get the XP they need for for getting to the reforge point. Like honestly, if I didn't have the knowledge I had of the game before, I wouldn't have gotten past probably lan like probably even even third node because lanterns take so long to unlock. Lanterns need to be one of the first things you unlock. Because you need their mechanic to actually be able to do certain things in the game. Uh, as well as, like, Omni, Omni Cells can, can be a mid-game thing, but Omni Cells should dictate 
the beginning of mid game. Honestly. Like, Lantern should be down near the bottom, on this side maybe, of this node, to let you know, hey, we're not going to start you with this mechanic, but at the very least, you have access to getting it right away. That way you can learn to boop on Embermane, right? Learn that mechanic, learn how to use your weapons, and then also, as you're learning to use your weapons in these first areas and learning how to interrupt, you gain the, the new mechanic of, oh, by the way, here's your lantern too, right? Um, and then you get to mid-game, which should be where about Light the Way is, where Omnicell should be. And then it's like, here's a new mechanic that you get. And then, you know, this is also the beginning of mid-game with, with Heroic 113. And then, you know, Heroic, or Escalation 10 through 50 should probably be down here, Testament of Skill, with, with, uh, Carnivore, right? That's where this should be. Uh, and the Normal Trials can stay here as well. And that could mark the beginning of Endgame, right? I think that'd be a very good, good thing. Or maybe even put, put Escalation down here, right? And have this and this be the beginning of, mid beginning of Endgame. And just, I don't know. All I'm saying is it's flawed of how it's set up. They should change it. That's all I'm saying. They need a slight change, a slight adjustment to how XP works, slight adjustment how you get XP. But, uh, again, we got to Omni Cells, we craft Omni Cell. Um, in the slight chance I haven't explained Omni Cells yet, I am going to come in next, uh, next video tomorrow on my main account and explain Omni Cells better. Um,. We've unlocked everything that actually needs, like, we've unlocked everything already that's not already, like, told to you, honestly, except for trials, but that, that's too far away for me to actually mentally be able to deal with, um, unlocking. So, yeah. If you watch this later on YouTube, please think about that subscribe button if you watch us later on twitch before it gets deleted think about that follow button if you like it we stream every so often uh i wasn't gonna stream until the series was over honestly because i wanted to get done with i want the series to be better than it is but i didn't realize how stupid this shit is like <laughs> Uh, because again, and I ranted about this today, and ranted about it, I think, the day before, new gamers were given, or end gamers, if you had stuff leveled up, were given literally fucking everything. Like, they were. That's just how it was. Um, and, and that's because they already had it. Like, they had already earned that by playing for so long. And if they weren't given everything and they had to actually do the grind to to learn how to play the game in the new state, I think they would have been able to do it because they would have still had the old stuff. But at the same time, uh, at the same time, they... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well done, Slayer. They would have been upset because it's horribly flawed on how the Slayer Path is set up. And we didn't realize it as endgamers who were given everything because we we had everything and we had it all given to us. But the more I play it and the more I look at it and the more I level it, it's like, no, this is absolutely fucking flawed. Lanterns are a huge necessary thing in actually being able to do things. Like, Pangar was breaking parts there on him. I didn't break leg. Hangar broke leg. Hangar Lantern's really good. So is Embermane, if it would blow up slightly faster. I think they should honestly, and if you look at it, it explodes in 4 seconds, doing 325, uh, 3,250. I think 
honestly, what they should do is put it... Because originally they were going to put it at two seconds. Uh, when they when they announced the update and had Experimental out, it was two seconds in Experimental. They should nerf it down to Pangar's level, the 2500, and then put it down to two seconds. That would be perfectly fine. And it would be great. It would make more use out of the Emery Line. Nobody wants to wear this. It's not worth it. And honestly, it's it's, it's just not worth it. Like, there were times in, in earlier video where I was able to utilize it. But even then, and it did break parts. It, it broke parts. But even then, like... That those are beginning game behemoths. If I was fighting, say, a heroic Valamir, or not a, not heroic Valamir, he doesn't move. Like a heroic Riftstalker, that bitch does not sit still. He'd be across the map before your pan, before your ball even fucking spawns. Like it'd be bad. Um. So yeah, think about that follow button on here on Twitch. Think about that subscribe button over on YouTube. Or should I say here on YouTube since this is about to be uploaded? I don't know. Uh, like, dislike, comment how you feel. I know it's a shit video. Uh, this is go this is gonna wrap up my series here. The next series will be the actual Behemoth series. Hopefully, I won't get too upset about the Behemoths. We're gonna go over part breaks, part focusing. Uh. Sure, I'll be wearing a D high DPS build. Sure, you might not have it have all the capability of making said build, but you will be eventually, and that's not what that 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 series will be for. Um, we're gonna go better over set. We're gonna we're gonna talk over cells better over there and everything else. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, have a Hopefully good one. And goodbye. I don't remember my buttons. I, I don't remember my buttons. Give me a sec. I don't remember my keyboard commands to enter. Give me a second. Goodbye.